Hey, okay. What I would like to present today is a little electric walking beam engine that I built about a year ago. It uh, it has a walking beam on it. This this beam on the top is what you refer to as a walking beam. Here on the workbench in a couple of hours. Uh, they're real easy to build out there if y'all want to build one. Uh, this is just found parts that I had strewn about on the workbench that I had taken things apart and saved the, the, what I thought I would use. The coils, this, both of this coil assembly came out of a doorbell, a little cheap doorbell, uh, that seemed like they had the right, uh, resistance. The uprights, the uh, uh, links on both uh, ends uh, came out of a uh, typewriter. Uh, I took an electric typewriter apart, and uh, they real they are real nice little pivots. Uh, the walking beam itself is a piece of quarter inch aluminum keystock. Um, the upright. The main engine upright is, it was a part left over from a screen door shock absorber. It looked, uh, it was new. Uh, how it comes into my possession, I don't know. Uh, probably in a yard sale box, uh, estate sale. And uh, I did drill the uprights on both sides and press in a couple of bushings bronze that I had taken out of uh, some other piece of something. The flywheel itself actually came out of a lamp base. There was a stack of maybe six or eight in there for weight. Um, and it is epoxied to a aluminum uh, uh, center that I turned on the lathe. Uh, actually, that's, that's the only... Uh, Lathe part today, and then I could have made that out of something else. Uh, the uh, upright here is, um, I have no idea what that started life as. It's some kind of, uh, it was pre-bent. Uh, the micro switch, uh, I think, was out of a uh, washing machine, maybe, that the neighbor threw away. This is And um, this particular one has an offset in the walking beam. Usually, you'll see them in the center. When you offset the upright, the pivot point in a walking beam, you it, it works on the leverage principle. So you can gain power either on the short end or the long end uh, as to where you need power on the flywheel or power on the coils. Uh, this one works. And it this is another one of those mousetrap bases. This was a large mouse trap. This happened to be a victor, uh, and it was well, well used when I uh, uh, gave it a new life. Anyways, we'll uh, we're gonna run it. Uh, I do. I am running on 12 volts today. A simple, uh, simple schematic. Uh, as uh, you just make a circle, circuit, and uh, when when the flywheel comes around, I do have a long bolt in a bushing. Uh, on the uh, that's a quarter inch the crankshaft is a quarter inch welding rod and when this comes around it activates the micro switch and it works as a timing mechanism uh, the engine uh, works as such These little projects are interesting to build. I, I recommend to everyone, everybody, uh, build build these kind of things. Things uh, they uh, they're extra size in mechanics. Uh, this little engine will run like you see until the battery runs down. They are quite entertaining and easy to build. Uh, and uh, it's just one of many, 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 many ways. Um, I will explain it uh, to you. Uh, simple to build. 
a micro switch uh, came out of a discarded uh, washing machine just miscellaneous nuts and bolts that was on the workbench. The crankshaft is a eighth inch brazen rod. The timing is just a collar with a screw in it. Comes around, activates the micro switch lever. The coils uh, was salvaged from an old time uh, doorbell. Uh, probably got it in a yard sale box of junk. Uh, the upright is just a miscellaneous piece of bracketry. I uh, have no idea what it was. Um, the rods are uh, salvaged from a uh, typewriter. Uh, the base is a large mousetrap. Uh, had, it, it, it had been in service. It's a Victor brand. Works really good in this instance. The walking beam is a piece of quarter inch square bar stock. I do have the pivot on this particular engine. I do have the pivot off center quite a bit. Uh, it works, uh, walking beams works on a leverage principle. Uh, normally you'll see them in the center. Uh, this one was just uh, uh, to see if it would work this way. And uh, the flywheel was salvaged out of a uh, large uh, lamp out of the uh, living room. Somebody had discarded that curbside. There were several of these in the bottom of it uh, for, they had, they had put them in there for weight. Uh, they're perfectly round. I did turn, the only machine work, I turned a center out of aluminum with a offset uh, and epoxied it to the center of the uh, flywheel. The upright is uh, was salvaged from a set of screen door uh, shock absorbers. I did drill a hole in these two uprights and press two small bushings in there that came out of, probably that came out of that typewriter. Um, it's just junk box uh, uh, parts, and uh, uh, the principle is when when the flywheel uh, comes around, it activates the switch, energizes the coils, p makes a magnetism, pulls this uh, bar down, pu puts pressure on this end of the walking beam, pulls the flywheel upwards, then it's a free motion because this has let go of the current setting this free and it's a free motion flywheel effect all around until it fires again quite simple um, it's a it's a nice exercise in uh, the principle walking beam, walking beam principle uh, quite easy to build uh, and you do not need to build it out of the parts that I have used here. Use what you have on hand. Uh, build one. Uh, you will enjoy it.